What is it guys, Numerous here and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 19 career mode. In today's video we play two games and sim one before the Carabao Cup final which is coming in the next episode. So guys do stay tuned because this is exciting. Anyway, before this video starts make sure you do leave a like and subscribe follow my twitter and in red underscore 742 hit that bell icon so you never miss another video by me and also um, share the video with a family or friend today we play against Burnley no Burnley why did I say Burnley Brighton two days after that incredible win against Manchester City in the last video so yeah we played really well last episode but obviously um, well we didn't actually play that well because we lost three times I think it was no twice um, twice, which was very frustrating, but we do play against an informed Brighton team who are in seventh. So we're playing with our B team, and I mean, well, the first chance came here. Lorente came so close, and well, they cross it in here, and it falls to Gross, and Gross scores, and he's probably the only player from last year's career move, which I was just like, yeah, I wish I kept because. Gross is a very good centre forward. Let's just say that if you play a four-five, no, if you play a four-four-one-one, Gross can sit in that centre forward role and he can do excellent. But anyway, um, yeah, Gross gets to um go and it, it's quite a good goal. But our marking there is so poor, and we do go behind again. So this B team man is trash. This B team is not good. I am waiting to either get a Connor Chaplin so we can play him at centre forward and win those win oh, I don't know like I miss Connor Chaplin but we do reply and quite swiftly as well with a very good goal well we played it around the edge a bit and then I just decided to cross and um, pass it into Tom Ince, and Tom Ince finishes with his left foot and that was a very very good finish great play from um uh who is it who is it who is that is it in, is, I can't remember. I don't know what his name is, but whoever passed it, um, that was quite a good um, pass. And then Ince's finish was obviously superb. So, um, yeah. And halftime, the score was 1-1. One, one. So, a very, very, very um, good half for both teams, really. I mean, both teams were equal and... You know, they're two teams who are very similar. Stoke and Brighton, we are very similar teams. We're doing um, decent at the moment. Um, Brighton did have their bad patch at the start of the season. But the last chance that the game comes here is Knockout smashes it in. Butler makes a great save and grows. You wouldn't have thought he missed that, but he did. And that is a tragic miss. And we do draw again so we're unbeaten in two but i really really wish we won that because that is an important fixture and as they're in seventh we're in eighth i think at the at this moment um yeah it was an important game it's my moment of the match though as um tomins that's a really really good finish from tomins and um yeah it just played quite well to be honest uh it was a very even game with the b team it's it's always going to be hard i really hope next year in fifa they sort out the fixtures because this is ridiculous <laughs> this is really annoying and we don't even have a european league like to um to uh, worry about so yeah anyway um humry emry humry Henrik um, gets my own round of the match. He was really good. And uh, Mexico say, we want you to manage our nation again, which I was quite surprised about because I just didn't think we did very well in the Copa America and I thought we should have done better against Peru. But they were like, nah, that was unlucky, mate. You, 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 you have the future here. And obviously, we've got a new player called Duarte who um, looks very good. And um, I uh, promoted him to the... Uh, to the first team and he does look very good i'm pretty sure he's showing great potential so that's obviously very good but anyway um we are sitting in ninth before this game and again <laughs> again the um crowd do the mannequin challenge uh, that is twice twice in like 
in like a few episodes so you know but we do play against crystal palace now last time we played against crystal palace we lost 3-0 it was a very poor game and that was really the start of our bad form so we obviously want to um take back what is rightfully ours and win the game and well we're playing with the a team so we're gonna be scoring goals and um <clears throat> yeah we really do need to play um, good football and get our form back on track and the first chance comes here it's Hudson Adoy looks to cut inside he crosses it in though and it falls to Dominic Calvert-Lewin and well what a start that is a great header from him uh, excuse me uh, I just burped great header from him and a great cross from uh, Hudson Adoy as well I thought it was a very good cross by um, Hudson Adoy and I wasn't actually um, targeting Cavalier and I was targeting the back post of Diaz but I mean Cavalier gets his ninth goal of the season I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain uh, why would I and um, Hudson Adoy also getting back in the action so we're gonna have to do um, um, keep this momentum up because we are putting on a lot of pressure and whilst the ball gets shot here it was a great save but from that corner it's cleared away and I mean what Poor defending that is from Crystal Palace. When you have Harry Maguire taking on two of your players in the six-yard box, you you know you're in trouble. And Harry Maguire gets his four, third goal for the club, I think. His third goal for the club, and he does. Um, oh, is it? I don't know. It's a basketball player. I'm not a basketball fan, by the way. But uh, is it LeBron James? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. It's Ben Taku's celebration, and I think it, it might be LeBron James. I have no idea, by the way, guys. I'm more of a I'm more of an NFL player um, fan. So, yeah, um, we do in fact get another goal. So two nil up inside 20 minutes, and well, Crystal Palace lose possession again, and Cavalier gets the ball here. It's full to Lamina. Cavalier plays a fantastic ball to Hudson Adoy. Hudson Adoy with a great touch, and well, he finesses it into the bottom corner, and he goes crazy, <laughs> crazy with that goal because that is his first goal in a while. And Hudson Adoy, the future, our first, I think he was our first signing, gets the goal, and obviously I'm ecstatic about that. He gets his fourth goal this season, and Hudson Adoy, and this is um, the because um, I do send the last game of the um, episode. Um, this is our last game playing with the team, and well, it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna have to be quite good because the Carabao Cup is next. So, I mean, we're gonna have to defend, and that was not good defending. We're attacking brilliantly, but our defense has gone downhill a bit. But you can't do much about that finish, can you? <laughs> I mean, that is a fantastic finish. I mean, the finishes recently have been superb every single game. And Augustine gets his seventh goal of the season. And that is a brilliant finish, though. I mean, if that will go and go, the season contender. <laughs> um, but anyway... Um, Hudson Adoy gets the ball here in the half an hour mark, and as it's um, a brilliant, brilliant pass from Calvert Lewin, finds Diaz, and Diaz smashes it in to the top left corner. That is a brilliant goal. That's a fantastic goal um, from Diaz, and yeah, I am ecstatic about that goal as well. Hudson Adoy with a great cross. It's a really nice flick on by Calvert Lewin, and well, Diaz smashes it in, so I am very, very happy with that. And Diaz gets his sixth goal of the season so I signed him because I was thinking you know he's he's a decent player but I didn't think he'd be this good he's very good um, and we go 4-1 up before half time we get very close there good save from the uh, um, Crystal Palace keeper and Augustine the guy who scored a brilliant goal goes for another shot but Butler makes a great save and from that corner they look to header it goes over the um, bar and it is half time. So half time and the score's four one. We are playing superbly this game. This is not the Stoke City team that have been performing recently. We have been outstanding this half. But it didn't start off very well in the half because well their first chance they score and it's another one of those deflected shots and I hate those shots man. It's so annoying. Like you can never tell what if it's gonna go in or not. Like it's so frustrating but um 
But yeah, um, Crystal Palace get back into the game. I mean, it's 4-2. They still have a chance. All they need is two goals. Um, all they need, they, if they, if we can score four goals in one half, so can they. So you know, we we did, we can't get that comfortable. We do get a bit too comfortable half the time, and um, yeah, uh, we throw away another um, free free nil a free goal lead. I cannot speak. Oh my god! But from that um, kick off, we um, Cavalier and plays it to Hudson Adoy, and I was just like Hudson Adoy, I'm gonna run with you because he was playing up front at the moment, and Hudson Adoy runs past every Crystal Palace keeper. Um, um, defender, he cuts inside with the fake shot and finesses it, and that is a brilliant goal from Hudson Adoy, and that is the Hudson Adoy we know and love. You know, last year he was arguably our best player, but this year he hasn't proven that much. But that's a fantastic goal from Hudson Adoy. A really good run. He cuts inside with the fake shot and he finesses it into the um, right hand side of the goal and hits the post as well. So a very, very nice goal from Hudson Adoy. And yeah, um, not quite goal of the season contender. Um, but anyway, it cuts inside now and he finds a brilliant ball to Joe Allen. And I mean, it's great when some subs can come on and change the game. And I mean, it's completely changed this for the format of this game. And well, that's a brilliant ball from Ince. I mean, he's a very fast player, and I didn't like using him last year, but this year I find I I didn't like um, using him in the last season, but this season he's proven to be quite good, and maybe that's just because of um, how fast-paced the Premier League is, because this game, this game was game of the season, and well, the last chance comes here, they cross it in, but it's an easy save for Butland, and this this was game of the season 6-2 win and um, what a performance that is from the boys I'm proud I'm proud from a from a from such poor form recently we have proven to be a brilliant brilliant goal scoring machine Hudson Adore and Calvert Loom were ridiculous this game and relentless and no one can stop us and well this is my moment of the match I just love this goal how nice the passing was, and it was just three touches from the front three. Hudson Adoy crosses it in to um, Cavalier, and it falls to Diaz, and Diaz smashes it right in the top right, top left corner. And I mean, um, Hudson Adoy gets a hockey assist, and Cavalier had three assists, one goal this game, and Hudson Adoy had two goals, one assist, and I thought those two were superb this game. Anyway, um, we go Sim against Burnley, and we do, in fact, win 1-0. Diaz scores the goal, and yeah, that was just before our Carabao Cup um, final game, so I didn't want anyone to be injured, so I'm very happy that about that, and this is the training. I was changing it just because of uh, the new player, Max Wilson, and Duarte, so, you know, I changed it because I thought, why not? Um, I mean, Max Wilson, I wanted to tra train his strength up a bit, but um, as you can tell, it's only a silver one. I always just like to have gold um, training thingies, so, you know, Max Wilson um, gets trained with his pace, so yeah, and uh, also Duarte with his dribbling. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, then please do leave a like and subscribe. Follow my Twitter at Imbrodunskill742. Hit that bell icon so you never miss another video by me. Stay tuned for the Carabao Cup next episode, guys. Have an awesome day, and I will see you later. Goodbye.